Hey everyone, I'm Eric Schanzenbach, a product engineer at SFS, and today we'll be discussing the selection of self-drilling fasteners for metal-to-metal -metal roofing and cladding applications. When we talk about the selection of self-drilling fasteners, there are four major characteristics to consider. The fastener material, the fastener strength, the thread pitch and length, and the drill point. So let's start by discussing the first characteristic. One of the first things you want to consider is the material of the fastener. This is an important decision to avoid corrosive damage on your application. SFS offers fasteners in a variety of different materials including carbon steel, stainless steel capped, zinc aluminum capped, and full stainless steel. In order to select the right fastener, you need to consider two details of your application. First, the material of the application. Certain fastener materials are incompatible with certain panel materials. Use the chart on screen to determine which fastener your specific panel is compatible with. In addition, the environmental conditions at your job site must be considered. For instance, if you're near a coastline, there's a higher risk of corrosive damage. You can use the chart on screen to determine the specific conditions at your job site and which fasteners will be appropriate. Typically, when we label self-drilling fasteners, we start by listing the diameter of the fastener. This is generally denoted with a pound sign followed by the diameter. As we increase the number, the diameter of the fastener increases. Understanding this number is important as it will generally describe the strength characteristics of the fastener. The data sheets available on SFS's website will list the following values. Tensile strength describes the point at which the fastener fails under a load exerted in two opposite directions. Shear strength describes the point at which the fastener fails under a load exerted in offset opposing directions. Torsional strength describes the point at which a fastener fails under a twisting load exerted on the head of the fastener. In addition, although not directly correlated to fastener diameter, most SFS data sheets will also include the following strength characteristics that are application specific. Pullout strength describes the maximum tensile load at which a fastener's threaded connection remains intact in the application substrate. Pullover strength describes the maximum load at which a fastener can resist the pulling of the fastened sheet material over the head of the fastener. When selecting a fastener, ensure that the listed values will withstand the applied loads in your application. Now, we'll determine the appropriate thread pitch and length. The thread pitch is typically measured in threads per inch, or TPI. As the TPI increases in value, the distance between the threads of the fastener will decrease. Although not always the case, it is typically recommended that lighter gauge metal panels are used in conjunction with fasteners featuring lower TPI values. In contrast, thicker gauge metal panels are used in conjunction with fasteners featuring higher TPI values. The nominal length of a fastener refers to the distance from the underside of the head to the point of the fastener. When selecting a fastener, the total thickness of the metal panel and subconstruction must be secured to the fully threaded portion of the fastener. Remember that the void space or insulation must be considered. Here is an unacceptable combination of fastener length and application thickness. And here is an acceptable combination of fastener length and application thickness. Longer leg fasteners typically have extended fully threaded sections and can therefore be utilized in larger total application thicknesses. Values for maximum application thickness are available on SFS data sheets. SFS drill points are categorized based on the point diameter. As a general rule of thumb, larger point diameters can drill into thicker metal panels. In order to trivialize selection, a numbered system is utilized to reference point diameter. SD1 refers to the smallest point diameter, and as the number proceeding SD increases, the size of the point diameter also increases. Every data sheet in the SFS website lists a drill capacity. This is a thickness of metal panel that can be drilled by the fastener. Note that this thickness includes all panels being drilled 
and must also include any void space or insulation between the panels. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. We have a printable version of this information available on our website. And be sure to check out SFS Group's Connect Suite online tools. These powerful digital tools can help see your project through from start to finish.